like a keloid scar, pigmented and ugly. I can recite to any man his figments and his philosophy. His breath is made of the past. He holds his pen like an iconoclast when he calls me a rebel, heathen whore. Is it the dog that wags the tail or the tail that wags the dog, the proverbial fog of his rhetorical questions, an unsavory tension lives between us. I am his rock, and he is my Sisyphus. Every now and again, the footpath fails between us. I follow the laws of gravity over his lofty instructions, and he climbs down the mountain in pursuit of his duty. But I haven't heard the clutter of his disappointment in years. I close my eyes to see the stutter of his eastern beard. I fear that I miss him, but I know why I am here. This is my penance. Have you ever told someone that their father is dead? Held it in your mouth as though it were cold phlegm. The heat of an assumption on the back of your neck. You see, my dad didn't turn up to the funeral. So I rendered him brutal, twisted my posture into a crucible, ready to boil his apologies into my refusal. So when I handed him the order of service, something slipped. The air cabbage to the savagery of red, his face collapsed into a prayer, and a war broke out in the gulf of his neck. Ooh. Yes, I know regret. My dad didn't miss my granddad's funeral because he didn't even know that his dad was dead. It's been a while since he's climbed down the mountain in pursuit of his duty. I haven't heard the clutter of his disappointment in years. I close my eyes to see the stutter of his eastern beard. I fear that I miss him, but I know why I am here. So I've been practicing the, the brush of my brow over his eyes, down. Rest now, pulling his jaw to reveal his crowns. In the final hour, I will hold his sins in my mouth like a hymn. Fill up the basin, ready to wash him, seraphim. I've been muttering his eulogy like a finger around the rim of doubt, even though I know more of his shadow than I know of his clout. Still ready to hold my throat like a flare gun, and my God, I will eclipse the sun in his mane. It will not be a burial, I just want to lay my roots down to rest, hoping that something will grow from the mound. I will look to it like Moses to Sinai. You may be wondering why I'm preempting my father's death, but I'd rather perfect his ritualistic end than simply learn how to bury regret. <laughs> <laughs> 